any actually out there hmm? actually lady or actually man are you there look at what we have today guys and she's salivating already <laughs> people look out for comments from those actually who are watching these videos yeah because i think they're the only ones who are really going to understand this thing today because if i tell you it's a delicacy it is an understatement you know what i mean this is i could say the most respected traditional food that we have in that every traditional marriage it does not miss it is a must like you must cook this for your in-laws if you know what i'm saying i don't know which word will make me describe it well but guys today it's just a special day guys so i want to show you how we prepare this guys and then you surely how i wish i would really make each one and every test it hmm? so let me just sort it okay there's actually no much sorting here to do uh meanwhile this is a pigeon piece you guys told me it's pigeon peas i i prepared it someday but in a different form this one is being i don't know if i could say grounded or what but it's i think i should make a video on how to make this a whole video alone on how to make this but just know this is pigeon peas yeah like we grind it and make it this so guys first i'm going to soak you can imagine you have to cook in a way that all these hard covers are off you know how the hard covers this like this one here they will move off and they, we only want the yellow part, the only the inside part, you know. So we have to soak it for a very long time, actually, before we can start washing it. One unique thing with this sauce here, you see the same water that you use for, for washing it is actually the soup. Strange but true. <laughs> so I first wash off the dust. With this first water here then leave it to soak in the next water and that is going to be the soup we are going to use for cooking weird right <laughs> yes i know so this is just to wash out the dirt and the dust and whatever we believe that when you wash and maybe like you soak here you're also soaking out the nutrients that i, I don't know the niceness you know and then again you pour it mm? your food will always remain will be like it's tasteless or something so when you wash use the same water like when you soak okay you use the same water again for cooking it so this water i can pour it away but this next one that i'm going to pour here is the soup this here and leave it to soak for some good like for, for like an hour plus yeah so as i do that this first of all is served with either millet bread or sweet potatoes yeah so let me know which one you like most hmm? so i think i'm going to serve sweet potatoes i don't know how i'll decide along the way <laughs> for now let's leave that to soak and come back So guys, here we are, you can see, uh, this has soaked well, you can see even the, okay, the intention of the soaking is to remove these things, the, are they called the husks or what, these hard things on the cover, yeah, so it has actually soaked well, and this is how you wash it, to make sure that those which are still stuck on the seeds, you can, see how these ones are remaining yellow, we only want the yellow parts, mm. so you just rub it a bit like this. <laughs> this chicken wants to jump in. <laughs> so guys, something about this food. That makes it really really treasured i don't i don't even know exactly but it is so much respected traditional like i told you it's always cooked for in-laws on any traditional occasion you know so you have to cook it with a lot of i don't know 
you have to be very keen and don't even make any single mistake <laughs> literally if you're a girl and you're going <laughs> you're going to get married hmm? and you go to your in-laws place they make you cook this to test is this one properly trained you know those things <laughs> so guys that is how far how much this food is like treasured in my land so this girl is here helping me make fire you want to know her you want to see her face <laughs> She's just helping me make fire. Then I switch the potatoes to that sigiru, the chef of stuff where she's making. All right. But like I told you earlier on, this is the water for cooking. So when you're doing it, you make sure you've washed your hands, like you know, neat. Yeah, so that you don't blunder. So let me first rinse this saucepan a bit. and a long one I won't lie <laughs> it's a long process I can tell you Those that have passed through you'll be checking one by one to make sure that you remove the hard cover like the one I'm doing after numerous doing like switching the water like you saw this is the trash that came out i don't even know how many times i did this but it's more than 10 you can imagine so i'm just rinsing this thing the pots before i put it like i told you all around we put with the same water that you you've been soaking in yeah so let me first sieve off this water here. <laughs> hear my chicken. <laughs> they want to appear even if they're not seen at least to hear them. So I'm just going to put this here. Maybe this is like one of the hardest uh, sauce to cook eh, in my culture. One of the hardest. We still have some more. <laughs> but people fear cooking this. I don't know why. Maybe because of the washing process. It takes long. It needs a lot of patience. So of course this. Remember how we made this, right? This is bicarbonate. We made it the traditional way and it's, it makes this soup really nice. Hmm? So I'm just going to add this for softening, of course. If you didn't watch how this was made, please check out through the videos you're going to get. I just want to measure and make sure I don't put a lot. I love measure. So I'm just going to put it on fire. Just to make sure it's still at least. So let's wait when it starts boiling at some point. Then I'll show you what the Let me first clear up here very fast. And to remove all the hard covers. That is why we keep on doing this. So my sweet potato is actually ready. You can see it's here cooling. I've decided to serve it with sweet potatoes. I'll keep doing this so finally the, the the leafy things that I mean the husk that was coming up is all here 
it has settled down so at this point we're just going to leave it until it boils like until it gets ready actually before i can start mixing it so guys um first of all i didn't notify you but the intention of this thing is to make sure that it turns like porridge eh? that is how the sauce should be like thick and very smooth so as you can see it's not very far and like this it's already very soft like it is ready so we have um a specific i don't know what it's not even mingling stick but we have some stick that we use for cooking this especially when it's already soft but i'm going to just give it like some 10 or or even less minutes before i can put in that stick and the stick is right here guys the one i told you that is specifically for pasting so it's soon going to turn to this in less than 10 minutes as you can see it's almost turned actually it has started to turn but what we want is you see this there are some particles in between i don't know if the camera is showing you well but now i'm going to work on those ones and make it really smooth and i think you can see if you turn like this then okay if there were this um the the, the husks or some hard covers that remain you'd see some black black particles in between but you can see the color is pure meaning um the washing was properly done guys so i think it's high time we switch keep this one to rest and introduce this madame perfect here hmm? so it's time to make this thing perfectly smooth guys so this continues just like this i'm just going to continue stirring like this until it is perfectly smooth you understand so guys uh it might be already dark i don't know if you're able to see but it's high time <laughs> you've all been waiting for this i know we have the peanut butter ready guys so let me just do it So even adding this, I still have to continue mixing. We have finally made it. You see how smooth it is? <laughs> Just like that. Just like that, guys. But this sauce here, if you're not going to like eat it immediately, it's not very good to remove it off fire. You need to keep it at a point which is somehow warm. So what I'm going to do is switch it to this other charcoal stove. Remember, I cooked the sweet potatoes is here, so it's not completely cold. And it's too hot honestly i will not even lie to you that i can eat this when it's hot this thing can burn you and forget your name hmm? but this is just how it looks like this particular sauce can't be served without this <laughs> okay it can be served but trust me it will be like tea without sugar or i don't know how to say it guys this right here is shea butter or shea butter oil i don't know how you want to call it but guys this combo here hmm, is just top notch have a look at that you know you eat and you feel it right in your throat eh? mm. so it can be served with sweet potatoes or minute bread Amen. <laughs> any actually out there you can relate you can relate what i'm going to swallow right now you know how I feel when I swallow this. You can you, you can really tell very well. Hmm? So um, allow me swallow. 